So here we are at the point of sale user interface. This is what comes out of the box with ChargeLogic Retail. We'll talk a little bit more in a bit about how this user interface can be customized to meet your particular needs, but you can see we have a demo logo here. We're using our colors, but all these things can be changed, moved around, and adjusted to meet your needs and to make this look and feel like your organization and to be the most efficient for your cashiers. Okay, let's have Chris buy a guest chair. You'll see these items that I have up here in blue. We have a more button. And so this is a great way to, again, if you have some items that are the most popular, 10, 15 items that are very frequently purchased, you could choose to add them to these buttons so that your cashiers can quickly add those to the sale. All right, so we'll have a check out here and again, just use our MasterCard to pay for this. Okay, we also have the ability up here, you'll see in these buttons to suspend or retrieve sales. And this is a great way to, if you're working with a customer maybe at one register and they decide that they are considering adding another item. So maybe you have those cross-selling items that popped up and it said, you're buying a rear hub, would you like to buy a front hub as well? And they say, well, I don't know, can you help me pick out that? Or I wanna see what colors are available or whatever the question might be. You can suspend a sale, which would park that POS document, and then retrieve that sale at a later date. So you don't have to go in and re-add all of those items they've already added to the point of sale. You can bring it back in. And this helps if you have a few different cashiers working on the same sales floor. So they can balance that and pick up and leave point of sales without having to lose all the work that they've put in. We also have features for, because we are connected with your back office nav, or with other omni-channel features. So maybe you're using ChargeLogic Connect to integrate your web store with Nav, and now you're using ChargeLogic Retail. That gives you some additional features. So we've pulled in the Canon group here, and when we go to this Manage Order button, you'll see where a lot of this functionality comes into play. So we have the ability to create special orders from the point of sale. And what that does is when we ring up items in the point of sale and choose special order, it's going to create a NAV sales order with the special order purchase code. And so then it'll flow into your back office orders and they can fulfill that order or place the order from your head office or from another location or maybe from your vendor and fulfill it for that customer. Same thing with drop shipment. So it'll do the same thing. It'll create a NAV sales order with the drop shipment purchase code so that your fulfillment department will know that that needs to be shipped directly to your customer. We also have the ability to pull in quotes. So this is another great sales boosting feature. If customers maybe call on the phone, they're shopping on your website and they have some questions and they want to know if they buy these four different items, what would the pricing be for that? Or maybe they're just calling over the phone to try to get an idea. Your sales reps could create quotes and then pull those quotes in from the point of sale when the customer comes in to actually place the order or pick up those items. We also have the ability to do layaways and get sales orders. So let's take a look at that layaway functionality. So same thing, we'll choose our select a customer here and we'll again choose the Canon group. And let's add a hub to this order. Okay. Now again, we go into manage orders. Maybe they have decided that they'd like to buy this item, but they'd like to pay for it in installments or they want to come back and pick it up tomorrow. So we can go ahead and hit layaway and this will park the sales document for them. And then when they come in the next day, oops, let me see here, I've got to select them again. Let's pull in the Canon group. You can use the deposit button here. It'll ask me what point of sale document I'm looking for. So we'll find the last one here that we just pulled in. $503, you'll notice that that hub is $500 and with tax. And then we can choose how much we want to add. Maybe they just want to add $50 today to that order. We can go ahead and pay. It'll send them a receipt. And we'll take $50 cash here. Great. Okay. There are a few ways to also manage returns. So we could use this start return button, which would put us into a return mode, in which case 
any items that we added to the sale would appear with the negative quantity. You would use this, for instance, if the customer maybe didn't have a receipt for the item or you didn't have any record, they weren't a known customer, so you wouldn't be able to search for them. You could do the same thing by pulling the item in and just turning that quantity from a positive to a negative, and then you can return the item by whatever procedures that you have in your store. You can also manage returns by scanning the barcodes. So you have the option of printing barcodes on the receipts for both emailed receipts and printed receipts, in which case a customer could provide you with that receipt. You could scan the barcode on the receipt, and then it'll pre-populate the point of sale return for you. And you can return it directly on their card without them needing to provide that card for you. In this case, I haven't printed receipts, so I'll go through and find a customer return here. Let's see. Okay. Let me try that. Um, let's try this one. Okay. Do I want to complete the return in full? Yes, I do. Great. Okay. And it returned the items to the inventory and returned the payment back onto the customer's card. And that's one nice thing about using a integrated solution like what we have with payments integrated. You can store the card numbers and return directly without having the customer to present their card again to you. Okay, so I think we've taken a look at several different sales examples and the features that we have here on our touch screen.